disgusting. <clears throat> oh, why does it always happen to my house? Hey, what's up, guys? It is Ben 10,000 YGO, your friendly neighborhood Yu Gi Oh! superhero. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while. The deck I've been working on uh, took a little bit of time because, uh, you know, I got to refamiliarize and test new things out because, you know, your boy here uh, is a little bit frustrated with the format, so I have to find something that's semi-decent when I show you a deck profile. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, uh, and also forgive me if I sound a little snotty. Uh, it's allergy season for me again. Anytime the weather starts to change, my nose is like, we can't handle this shit. So it's like, uh, you know, this part of my body right now is like, hey, screw you, Ben. You don't deserve to breathe. Asshole. Anyway, uh, uh, we're going to do a deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed the skit. Forgive the guy liner. It's still there. I have washed it off like eight times. It's not coming off. Uh, it's gonna take a few showers to, uh, to get that off. That shit is sticky. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'd be greatly appreciative. Uh, if you like the video, leave me one of these. Uh, let everybody know that you're a trickster. And, uh, speaking of tricks, letting everyone know you're a trickster, we have merch. You should go check that out. It's on my Teespring, and you'll get your own little, uh, sticker or t-shirt with this little symbol on it, and you, you, you want that, trust me. Also, it looks better than my hand-drawn one. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to the Ben 2000 channel, this is how we do things. We have this little conversation at the front. Where in the middle, we'll have the replay footage, and at the end, we'll have the deck profile. So, without further ado, let's go check out that replay footage. And I'll see you on the deck profile side. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that replay footage. You know, we got a few interesting decks. Some some meta-ish, some not so meta. Uh, I don't care to play against Smoke Grenade and Smoke Grenade. Excuse me, I speak English, I swear. It's just my damn nose. And uh, Dragoon nonsense. I, I, I really don't like Dragoon. But anyway, uh, uh, that's a video for another day. Um, 
Anyway, guys, so today we're going to have a Mermail Atlantia deck. This is my version of it. I scoured through the entire, like, YouTubes, trying to find all the different ways you could play this, and then looking at my own collection, and this is what I came up with. Uh, yes, unfortunately, in the in the current state of the game, it's basically you have to rely on hand loops. I, I don't really like that, but that is what it is. Uh... In the time that I played water, water was mostly a, uh, you know, it was mostly a, like, go second and kind of ram ram the opponent. But, unfortunately, um, the way this deck has evolved it, uh, because of the format's evolution, it's very much like, oh, I better hand loop my opponent or I'm not going to get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't like doing that. I really don't. But, unfortunately, this is the game we're in. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If they get rid of Smoke Grenade, they can take Moon Glacier right with them. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it. No hand grenade? How, no, no hand loops? Cool. I'd be okay with that. Um, I'd still play this deck. It just wouldn't look the same. Anyway, we got the Double Abyss Megalo. I, I would rather play three, but unfortunately we're not in the format where I can rely on using this card, like, as an OTK type of card. Uh, Bistius, this is an extender, so to speak. Uh, I only own two Dragoons. I know... This is going to drive all the Mermail players crazy. If I had a third one, I would play it. I just don't have one right now. So, uh, so you know, stick to the channel. Eventually, I'll get a third one. I'm sure it's print printed common somewhere. I could pick it up for cheap. Uh, Aqua Spirits, because, you know, extenders. Uh, Miss Spike, also a uh, really good combo piece with this card. Uh, and, you know, getting a level 3 Water Monster, which means it can help us get to this our deep sea minstrel which is a very important card uh tiny spirit sathena that's probably not how you say that it's in a water extender it's to help you get to bahamut shark uh abyssmander okay i really this card is one of the cards i really don't normally want to play but it does make these guys level nine which unfortunately we have to play another bullshit card because of the way the format has evolved we have to play something like Calamities and stop the opponent completely or we're not going to get to play the game at all. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, then we got Abyss Gund. You know, it's get the Mermails back, you know. Oh, excuse me. And then we have uh, Marksman. This is to get rid of back row. And uh, fun fact, if you actually do damage with it, it gets you another Atlantean. So that's kind of neat. Uh, could be a potential plus one. Uh <laughs> Deep Sea Minstrel, this card is basically this deck's uh, Called by the Grave, essentially. Basically, you're using the Minstrel to uh, snipe out certain hand traps. Uh, the only hand trap that you're probably not going to snipe out is uh, Gamma, uh, Psyframe Gamma, but the rest of them, uh, this card typically, yeah, this will this will do it. This will help you snipe out hand traps, and it gives you free information. Uh, also, the reason why this card is fair and this one is not is because on your turn, it gives you the card back. So, you know, if you're not playing a hand trap, this card really isn't all that useful, to be honest, outside of giving you information. Uh, then we got a, one of our play starters, a Deep Sea Diva. Uh, this is to get us to Atlantia Prince or Heavy Infantry, heavy infantry either one. Uh, it just depends. Uh, heavy infantry is another kind of extender slash, you know, search, uh, get rid of a, a card on the field. Uh, both marksmen and infantry are used to, uh, get rid of cards. Uh, then we got Delania Prince, basically the, uh, the search card for this deck. This is the Stratos of the deck. So you want to play this at three. And basically this deck has essentially seven copies of this card. Uh, so we got, there you go. There's the Delania Prince. And then we got one fishboard launcher. Uh, this is to kind of help with synchro plays or link plays. It's really all it's for. It's a free summit if you need it. Uh, one for one, again, just to get to the prince. Uh, we got Moray of Greed because I am too poor for Pot of Extravagance, which would probably be a better draw spell, to be honest, but I don't have the money for that. So... We play more Ray of Greed because it also, fix, truth be told, it's really not that bad. It fixes our hand most of the time. Uh, but if you draw a good hand, uh, the backlash to this card is, yes, you will have to pick between uh, risking it on more Ray of Greed if you draw a decent hand, or you'll have to just play with one dead card in your hand. So that's kind of like, uh, that's why we have it at a two of, so we don't see it all the time. Pot of Avarice, the same thing. 
Uh, this card isn't really all that good going first unless you fill the graveyard right away, which the Mermail decks, to be fair, can do. It's just that uh, you, you can't always do it. Uh, I In the times that I've always been short, I've always been short by one monster, and it drives me nuts, but it is what it is. Uh, Moss Reborn, Extender, basically. Salvage. This is to get us back our cards, like our, our Diva, our Infantry, or our uh, Neptibus, or even... Uh, our Deep Sea Minstrel. Uh, it's kind of handy in that aspect, you know. Call by the Grave. You kind of need this card, unfortunately. Uh, it is at one. And uh, the, this deck's just lucky enough to be able to play the Minstrel and this, where other decks are not fortunate enough to have a way to fight hand traps. But Called by the Grave is just another. You, you need your cards to go through. Uh, Mermails are very much a glass cannon, but they are still a cannon. So, then we have uh, Abyss Scale of the Kraken. This is a Monster Negator card. Also, this helps with OTKs with uh, Abyss Megalo, believe it or not. And and then you have uh, Abyss Scale of Mizuchi. Uh, basically, this is a Spell Negate. So, these cards... There's also a Trap one. We don't use that. That one would probably be used in the sideboard because, you know, in the off chance you'd want to use it. And then we have uh, Magical Midfield Breaker. This is also a Hand Trap uh, defensive card. So basically what we are doing is we are playing, uh, five cards that kind of mess with our opponent's ability to do hand traps. Let me just move these around real quick. There you go. We got these five cards right here. These are basically here to, uh, block the opponent's hand traps. All right. Now we got the extra deck, uh, white aura monoceros, because I don't have the level eight of the white aura monsters, which is, would be a better card to play, especially for the way this deck is built. I don't have it, but the, I do have this. So then we got coral dragon. This card's really cool. Uh, it's, it's a good card to make. You blow up a card, you draw, you discard a card. And usually that's going you something like, like, I want to say that if you get this card out, it can be like a, a pseudo board wipe. And then if they kill it, you get a card back. So then we got Desert Locust. Uh, we actually can summon this on our opponent's turn, uh, but we gotta we do it in a weird way because I don't own all the best Mermail cards. Uh, then we have Christian Quandax. This is the card we use to get to this. So basically what we do is uh, this is a Deep Sea Diva here plus uh, Infantry equals Quandax, and Quandax is a tuner, level 4. So if you have another level 2 monster, you can on your opponent's turn, you can make uh, Desert Locust and take and uh, snipe another card. Uh, Tatsunoko, this is for like when you go Diva into Prince. Uh, Calamities, this is for the Calamities play where you gotta ditch off Abyss Mander while you have Megalo and or Abyssus. Uh, Dracosac, cause I don't have the Mermel monster, I'm afraid. It is what it is. Uh, we do have a Bahamut Shark, which we can easily make, which is why we play the Tingy monster here and, uh, the Aqua Spirit. And, uh, fun fact, Megalo destroys prince prince will give you back dragoons boom there's your force uh one one just because i don't like to play a water deck that can't make one one so that's just a me personal thing that's my that's my one bad card in the extra deck for no reason <laughs> uh black ray lancer because this this you know i don't have another totally awesome so we're playing black ray lancer so we can go over our nightmare shark which our nightmare shark also kind of works like a, a pseudo gaga cowboy for the deck because it can uh target a water monster uh attach excuse me a level three water monster from the hand or the side of the field which we do have a few level threes here so it's niche but hey it's it's really just because if my bahamut survives uh and i can't make a sec of the toad for a second time for some reason i'll make the shark and then overlay for lancer uh also lancer's back row hate if it destroys a monster so that's kind of useful uh then we got totally awesome you know, it's part of the Bahamut package. Uh, Armored Kappa. This card is way better than you think. Uh, okay, so you make this card also using the same things you use to make Quandax. You use a Deep Sea Diva and a Infantry. And basically what you do is you detach and you get to boost this monsters by defense. But that's not the effect that you want. The thing is, is that nobody reads cards, so they forget that this card has a Battle Phase effect. And the Battle Phase effect is it can discard a Water Monster from your hand... And then basically, what, or well, it just says discard a card, but basically what you'd be doing is ditching a wa preferably a water monster like your Atlantean Dragoons or your Infantry or your Marksman or your Prince. Doesn't matter which one, but those are the ones you want to ditch. And uh, during the battle phase, your water monsters can't be destroyed in battle and you take no damage. So basically, uh, this card kind of gets around certain certain cards that can do a lot of damage. 
Uh, then we got our one Miss Star Boy. We don't really need this card. It's just for an attack boost and a way to get water monsters off the field and into the grave to fuel our Pot of Avarice or our Moon Glacia. So there you go, guys. This has been my uh, mer my budget Mermel Atlantia deck. If you have any budget suggestions in the comments below, I'd love to hear them. Uh, reminder, budget ones only. I cannot afford like $15 plus dollar cards right now. Uh, I just, I can't, I can't afford it. So anyway, guys, I've been to the thousand wide Joe. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, and, uh, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.